I don't want Tarsi. It's so, I, I don't want a guy to be like, you told me she was chic and elegant, yeah. and she looks like a hoe. No. Okay. I don't feel like a hoe. I don't feel like I'm gonna look like a hoe in this outfit. It's a very nice. First and foremost, what Darcy needs to realize and understand is just because something is designer, it doesn't mean that it doesn't it doesn't mean it's not gonna give the wrong impression. And the matter of fact is it's quite interesting because Darcy loves to wear things that are quite tight. You know, she likes to show her figure quite a bit, which isn't a bad thing. And she definitely loves to have her ladies out all the time, which again isn't necessarily a bad thing. But the question you have to ask yourself is what perspective do you want someone to have of you? And I think, to be honest with you, I'm one of those people that I do generally hate the concept of someone being judged based on how they present themselves off the bat. I'm not a fan of that. I think that is quite unfair. I feel like people should give people a chance by actually talking to that person and seeing if there's more to what we see. But at the same time, though, there is that thing called trauma, right? Where a lot of us can be in situations where maybe we always go for someone that looks a certain type of weight and then they all always generally turn out to be the same. So therefore, you're going to want to try and look for someone that looks slightly different and hope for a different result. So I say that because here's the thing, you know, the way Darcy loves to present herself is a way that has never helped her in the long run. If she thought about changing the way she presented herself, well, then maybe that would work out better for her. So it's a good thing that the... um a matchmaker called her out on it and said, listen, you look like a hoe. And, you know, maybe that is one of the things that drives her to be in relations with men that end up not wanting to be with in the long run. Maybe it is because of the way she dresses on the first date. Maybe it's because of who she is as a person. But either way, though, you've got to switch things up. you got to change things up. So if you want to hope for a different result. So to be honest with you, it's nice to see that the matchmaker said, listen, <laughs> you need to change what you're wearing because it's not going to work. Does she have to, does she have to, does she have to go down the route or the route of saying that you look like a hoe? Um, not necessarily, but was it needed? I guess so, because sometimes you really got to give someone pure, tough love for them to realize that your way is not the way. And I, you're paying me to teach you the way. Yeah. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, before we continue with the rest of the episode itself in particular, just so you know, in case you don't know, I do do the reaction to the full episode on my Patreon account. And on that account, you don't have to worry about me pausing the video every 10 seconds, okay? In that one itself in particular, you get to watch the full episode with me, and I only pause it every couple of minutes and all that kind of stuff. But either way, though, ladies and gentlemen, let's carry on with the clips that I do have from last night's episode, and let's get into it. Michelle's just doing her job, but it's totally throwing me off. I mean, I'm supposed to be hopefully being the love of my life. And I'm not really feeling too hopeful right now. I mean, listen, it's a good thing that you're not feeling like yourself. You're not feeling too hopeful right now. Because to be honest with you, it means that when you're going to, you're going to go into it, you're hopefully going to go into the date with a whole different approach, with a whole different feeling, you know, an approach that's going to, you know, bring a different life, a, 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 a different type of Darcy to the, to, 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 the, um, to the date, which therefore means... Maybe you're going to present yourself in a way where a man's actually going to want to take it seriously and may actually want to take it seriously in the right way rather than in the wrong way. So, so to be honest with you, it's nice that she's been thrown out of her comfort zone because being out of her comfort zone more or less can work out for the better for us, more or less. Sometimes, obviously not. But anyway, we continue. Do you understand me? American people don't understand the foreigners. How hard it is like, to move in different countries, how hard it is to like, make friends. Only immigration people... You see... <laughs> Stace is asking Florin a very simple question. You know, why Georgie? Why can't you just not have Georgie? Because it's not going to be good for Darcy. And his reason is that because American people don't understand what it's like for a foreign person to come here because it's not easy to make friends. That has got to be one of the biggest BS I've ever heard in my life. I am someone who was not born in the UK, but I came to the UK. Maybe I came, fair enough, I came here obviously when I was six and obviously very young age, but I also know people that have come here at an at a, at a adult age and they've been able to network and make friends with anybody. And when I say anybody, I'm talking about people that are also foreign as well as people who are British. And there's people in America who've obviously done the same goddamn thing. The amount of times you can hear a story about someone that maybe came from Mexico, they came to America with nothing and then they ended up building an empire or whatever it could be. Well, how did they do that again oh yeah that's because they started to network and networking means what oh yeah it means making friends and making you know connections and to do that you've got to socialize but you know what the key part of it all not for all of it but you know what the key part is for some of these things is that these people start off networking and making connections and making friends by doing what by finding a job Honestly, like, let's be real. So when you get older, what is the best way? What is the easiest and best way to make friends? By having a job and obviously connecting with your work colleagues if you want to. Me, myself in particular, to be honest with you, whenever I've had a job, 
I've never cared to want to make friends with anybody at work, to be fair, only because I don't like the idea of mixing pleasure with business. You know, I mean, that's just my thing. Everybody always wanted to be my friend. It was very intro ir irritating. I never knew why. Keep looking and thinking, why do you want to be my friend for, man? I don't even like you. Well, actually, son, I don't like you. I just don't want to be friends with you because you're, you're my work colleague. <laughs> but the fact is, though, if, jo if, if, if Lauren put himself in a position where he genuinely had a job or was out there, then he would have made friends. And also on top of that as well, he's married to Stacey. Darcy and Stacey have no people everywhere. Wherever those people are, they're friends. They know people everywhere. And you're telling me that he's, una he's been unable to make friendships with all the people he's encountered in Stacey's life. Florin is just someone who's got a poor, poor excuse for everything. But you know what, though? <laughs> just wait until we get further down this video because uh, I have my own conspiracies around Florin. And, hmm, yeah, we'll get there. 20 minutes. Okay. Just one thing. This is your activity date first. Instructions are there. You guys have fun. Bye. All right, so Darcy is now on a date, okay? And uh, the matchmakers left, obviously, as you saw right there, sort of an activity for them to do. So I think that's going to help break the ice. And to be fair, first I was like, mm, shouldn't you let it just, shouldn't you let them just talk naturally and see where it goes? But then I thought, you know what, it would be a, a good icebreaker, to be fair. And also, not only would it be a good icebreaker, but it also would be a good way for maybe Darcy to, to connect with someone on, in a different way than how she normally would on her own accord. Because clearly, there's flaws in the way she's always done it, right? So I thought, you know what, this is actually quite a good thing. And because of this, it turned out that in the end, um, he actually ended up asking her, asking her out for a second date. So, of course, they will be going on a second date at some point. But with that being said, though, ladies and gentlemen, we continue. <laughs> Man, Darcy, something else. Mm -hmm. Today, I'm going to look for a modern job. It's important to me to get the job right away, to put money to the wedding, and to make my wife happy. All right, listen, boom. So, <laughs> they just did a whole cake thing, you know, Darcy Stacy, right? And uh, Darcy said, listen, you need to get a job to put some money forward. You know what I mean? He wasn't happy with it, so therefore he completely slammed Darcy down, you know? But uh, fast forward to where we are right now, he decided to try his, his luck in modeling. It's just bizarre to me because this man thought that he could walk into this and get a job modeling straight off the bat. And I, I just want I, I just want to like analyze his attitude in this whole situation. Keep going, just move around. Yeah, you're super stiff. Keep like around, around. like doing a photo shoot. I'm taking a ton of photos. I want you to just keep moving, okay? So I don't know why it's taking me so long to process this. But have you ever noticed that Florin has no character whatsoever? Like legit. So obviously, you know, they've said to him, listen, okay, so just take off your top. Let's just see, obviously, what you're working with, what's going on. And it's crazy because when they asked him, do you have any, like, pictures? He didn't have any pictures apart from pictures he had in his phone. They're like, okay, cool, we can have a look at it. He obviously, they had a look at it. They saw, obviously, he's got, you know, previous modeling experience. And they were like, well, you know, hopefully you still look this way. And he said, yeah. And they obviously asked him, do you work? Okay, he was like, mm, not so much at this moment in time. But, you know, yeah, I will be, you know what I mean? They're like, okay, cool. Obviously, in Miami, you got to make sure you're, you're on your game and working and getting staying in shape, all right? But the thing is, throughout the whole thing, he was just rude to these two women. He gave them no no um, character back, you know? They're, they're, they're trying to connect him. They're, they're trying to see if they can help him, you know? What's going to work? And therefore, now we're in a situation where they're not taking pictures of him. And as you notice, as they're taking pictures of him, this guy lacks the ability to show character. Like, legit, the woman says, you're stiff. You're moving stiff. Which then brought me to my assumption. Keep moving. And we get loose, feel comfortable, okay? Yeah. Everybody ladies, this question's for you, ladies. For you to want to sleep with a man, he needs to have some sort of appeal, right? It doesn't have to be necessarily a sex appeal, but he has to bring in a level of a certain character, a certain swag to himself, right? Like, he has to carry himself in a way that makes you feel like, yeah, I really want him to rip me apart. You know, I really want him to make love to him. I really want him to be all over him. I really want him to just be mine, right? I don't see those qualities in flowing one bit. I see qualities in someone that wants to be Yes, I see someone who is legit just like, hmm, not really too bothered about having sex. In fact, I'd rather just lay there myself and just get, and just get piped. I would actually just rather sit there and just be like, hmm, that is the vibe he gives me. Because I sat here and I said to myself, hold on a minute. I've never actually really seen this guy give a vibe that he's actually attracted to Stacey. You know, I've never really had that, to be honest. But now, don't get me wrong. I haven't seen every single season that these two have been together. Don't get me wrong. I know that for sure, for sure. But for, but for as long as I've seen him in, in the last season, in this season, and any other things that I've seen him and Stacey in, 
he never seems to have this appeal of wanting to he never he never seems to give off this 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 appeal that one he's attracted to Stacey, but nor does he ever give an appeal where I feel like Stacey wants to rip him apart. You know? And then I sat there and I said to myself, maybe it's because they Stacey is someone who's literally got a body that is just botched. But then I said to myself, has a man sex sometimes is just sex and you know you don't need someone to look perfect just to give him a pipe, right? Because that's how men can think. And then I was like, but then his demeanor, like, look, just look at his body language, just his demeanor, the way he is. And also, let's forget, right now, Stacey isn't there. He's in the room with two women, okay, who are doing a, a fantastic job of trying to work with what they have, okay? And these women, respectfully, are good-looking women as well, right? And this guy is bringing no energy whatsoever to the table that tells me that, yes, I'm going to be a model. Yes, I'm going to be that model that lady's going to want. Yes, I'm going to be that model that's going to, you know, bring in the money or whatnot. He just gives me... Do I keep moving? And to have the ability to book clients, I mean, so, so for clients to want to book you, what do you need? He doesn't have the skills. As soon as they, he goes to a casting, they're going to turn him away um, because he doesn't move the way that you're supposed to in order to be able to capture the, the photo that they need. And most importantly, and I have to pause it because, of course, this is YouTube, you know what I mean? But she does finalize what also matters. Just do a uh, face. Put your hands in your pocket. Change your face up. You can smile. You know, what you want to. Go ahead. Keep moving. Yeah, so I thought she was going to say next, but she couldn't, she goes on to says, and also he has no character. And I'm just saying, this man for me, from my experience, I could easily be wrong, right? He gives me vibes as someone that is a bottom, not the top. Is a bottom. It's funny though, because I remember in Love in Paradise, in the most recent season, we had Valentine and uh, Carlos. I remember both of them claiming that they, they, both of them said they were top, but they needed someone to be bottom, and they were, they were looking to, you know, bring someone in to be that bottom. Maybe Florian could be that guy. I, I, I may have to draw the medium and say, hey, hey, remember how you two wanted someone to be the bottom, right? <laughs> I believe Florian is that guy for you, because honestly, the vibe that this guy gives me, he just gives me, he does not give me vibes of a man that is. I'm not going to say he doesn't give me vibes of someone who's straight, but he doesn't give me vibes of someone that is really that into women. And he doesn't give me vibes of someone that really cares about a lot of things. I'm trying to really articulate my words in a certain way, but it's very hard. So I'm going to nip it in the bud and just say that for me personally, I think that this guy is low-key gay, even bisexual. That's what I think personally. But listen, if there's anyone in the audience that is gay, let us know, because I know gay men know what the gay radar is, and you know you can sense what a gay man at any given time, so please let us know. But also at the same time, ladies, at the same time, I gotta know, does this guy give you an appeal that says that, yes, I can see this man actually being something if you was ever in a room with him? Yeah. I'm thinking, I'm thinking the big Georgia. Wait, wait, who? Georgie. And then we've got the Georgie. He wants to bring Georgie into the mix. He wants to bring Georgie as his best man, which is something that we obviously found that last episode, but Darcy had not been told just yet. And this is her obviously now finally finding out. Hi. Just be my wedding. Just look and be like the best, the best man. Like, are you trying to ask Georgie to be your best man when Stacey asked me to be the maid of honor? The irony is that he's already asked George to be the best man and George is already coming. That is the irony part about it, but anyway, hmm. Yeah. It's my wedding, I can do a word. Oh, it's my wedding, I can do a word. Try like. I think it was because you had liquid courage. No, I'm not drunk yet. I never be. You know, it's interesting. I've realized that Florin has a tendency to keep saying that it's my wedding. He's never said it's our wedding. He's always saying my, 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 my. Now, don't get me wrong, though. Obviously, we had the whole thing where Stacey and Doss kept saying, Twin, 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 twin wedding this, twin wedding that, twin wedding this, completely get it, you know what I mean? But that is a big problem in their relationship that the statement isn't our wedding, it's my wedding. Oh, renewal. Vow renewal, whatever you want to call it. Anyway, we'll leave it as that, ladies and gentlemen. Let me know exactly what you are thinking down below in the comment section. Um, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and of course, don't forget the full episode is on my Patreon account. Link is down below in the description.